Jordan used to be a working class neighborhood, but now it has become one of the most expensive and upscale districts in Amsterdam. The Blumgracht, or the Flower Canal, is lined with historic merchants' houses. This is where Oliver Michel and George Gottel live. Hi, come on in. The couple turned the 240 square meters living space here on the fifth floor into a modern loft. We picked this place because it was spacious. Um, it was also left untouched for a very long time. Uh, it's from, the house is from 1763, and it'd been left open without any walls. And so we love the idea of maybe living in a loft in Amsterdam, which is very unusual. During the refurbishment in 2007, the owners kept as many of the original features as they could. George Gottel is American. Oliver Michel is French. They're professional interior decorators who work mainly for corporate clients. But privately, their style is very eclectic. One of the things that we wanted to do because the house was so big and open, uh, because it is an old warehouse, is we wanted to divide the walls uh, or the rooms without walls using curtains. And so we created a series of tented spaces within the large warehouse to create bedrooms and guest rooms. That way they can close off up to three different areas. One of the features of the house is we have this beautiful view from the terrace of the uh, Westertoren church here in Amsterdam. It's very famous. Um, it's near the Anne Frank house as well. So it's a very historical section of town. Inside, they've opted for a mix of designer furniture and vintage pieces. Basically, it really is a personal reflection of what we like, and, and it's a real mix of found objects and pieces that we've collected over time when we've traveled around. Uh, we've lived in many different places, the US, uh, the UK, Italy, and of course here in the Netherlands twice now. So, um, so we've picked things along the way. It's these souvenirs that give the apartment its special flair. They found this decorated skull in Mexico. The couple are especially fond of art that features taxidermy and anatomical models. This life-size sculpture is made of leather and yarn. And a few of their choices are a little unsettling. Some of the works are by Dutch artists. The objects we have here are really kind of always kind of at the brink between beautiful and somewhat disturbing and we, we really like that tension. So the house is quite unusual in, in the sense that it's, it's, it's a lot of pieces that um, are ugly beautiful I suppose you could say. The apartment is so spacious the two have plenty of room to spread out. And that's good because they also work from home. I think this is kind of a little oasis for us and we have a lot of pieces that bring us inspiration, uh, that excite us or that kind of, you know, make you think. Um, and we're always looking for new things that, you know, excite us or, or really just give us a new perspective on something. And they themselves have certainly brought a new perspective to this historic house in the heart of Amsterdam.